Hi guys, thanks for checking the video out. Steve Buzzer here. I'm on the chipping area and today's video isn't so much about technique, but it could give you a lot of answers to why you feel like you're developing the yips or you feel like you can't take any control over your technique. So before I do anything else, let me hit a, sh let me hit a shot. I'm going to this back bit. If we look at that shot there, was that a good shot? In terms of am I going to get that up and down? No. You know, I'm, I'm 30 feet short. But the question, I think this is the one that amateurs get horribly, horribly wrong. From a technical standpoint, if I say so myself, it was perfect. I've used the wrong club. You know, I've used my 58 to a back pin. It wasn't the quality of the movement, it was a strategy error. The issue was with the club choice. If I make the same movement, unless this time we're going to switch it up completely, we're going 9 iron. Completely different shot, you see, it, it's not me making changes and more importantly I'm not getting technical I'm not thinking or did I turn enough did I not turn enough this is an example of going to a far pin I see the same with the shorter shots as well but this shorter shot might be an example it's not that the 58 is the problem so look at me with two balls here a straight face 58 go slightly too far by I might need to open it up and make the same technique. See, it completely changes the result, but neither of those shots were a technical problem. So if you're having problems with your short game, both chipping and pitching, before you start deconstructing your movement, think about shot quality. The easiest way to get around this is when you come to practice, before you start looking at the flags, so we've got three options here. I want you just to hit a few shots, just feeling smooth, and see where they go. Change club. Look, pitching ways, I'm gonna make the same feeling movement. They're all doing different things. That allows you to calibrate once you've got your technique calibrated, you can then start trying to exploit it to the pins. Try and do it to the pins to start with might reduce your effectiveness in practice. If on the course you only judge yourself on how close you go, it can completely destroy your confidence, your technique, your performance does that. Just try and evaluate slightly different and you might be able to get your performance to do this without actually having to change too much not blowing your head off. So I hope this video has helped. Get some comments down below. Are you somebody that has just not thought about this? You know, I'd love to hear what you got to say. Hope to catch you soon.